the United States government, uh, done by states across the United States, are underway. There's more than 50 of them in operation across the United States. All of these impact agriculture because they change the microclimates needed for agriculture to survive. Just getting just like seen outside, right top of my house. Again, this one's coming from east to west. Programs around the world, international corporations, are modifying our weather all the time. And they're modifying it in ways that cover thousands and thousands of square miles. Most of it is chemically altered so that what happens is that we are putting chemicals, ground-based chemicals that are shot into the air or chemicals coming from airplanes that change and modify our weather. We're looking at this situation to see if we can begin to put under control experimental and other types of weather modification programs. Sometimes we're talking about artificially putting chemicals like sulfur or particulates into the atmosphere in what they call geoengineering schemes to reduce um, and, and help the planet, supposedly. The incidence of putting chemicals into our atmosphere is going to change and impact agricultural crop production. And if you take and you put up into our skies chemicals to reduce the amount of sunlight reaching the earth, you are going to begin to reduce crop production. Studies at the University of Illinois on corn crop production show reductions. Without the process of photosynthesis, whereby plants from direct sunlight gain the energy to grow, to produce crops, we are going to find ourselves, if we mitigate in that direction, impacting the crop production not only here in the United States, but worldwide. <laughs>